What I don't normally do reviews, uh, but uh, this has become a big part of my life. This is a Schwinn Aerodyne. It comes in models up to almost a thousand or around a thousand, give or take a few hundred dollars. And also down to like a two, 200, 250 range, 300 range, somewhere in there. Right? But this is about the mid range AD6. And I purchased this one because I needed a, a weight exercise. And currently, as I've mentioned in pre my previous videos, I'm sort of a transient situation. So I wanted one that gave me all the features, but did allow me to dismantle it and get it out of here in the not too distant future. And this is close, but it was heavy as heck. In fact, to get it up here, I had to, uh, I bought a, uh, a four-wheeler, uh, which is sitting on the other side of the corner. I show you that, but the room is messy. And this is about the only part of the room that is, uh, that is publicly viewable. Anyway, I'm not using this like the majority of people use these Aerodyne bikes. Um, by the way, this is a Vornado fan on top. And I use that to blow at me because there's not great circulation in here. And like all of the Aerodyne bikes, you have a foot and an arm component. And you can use either component individually. Sometime I will take my hands off of the hand rest. Especially if I'm reaching for something because I, you know, I reach for my phone or I reach for something else. A remote control since I do watch my TV over there uh, from this bike. And I use it differently. In fact, I'm not using any... Majority of people probably use it the way I use it. But people always call it that high-intensity training where you get on here and go as hard as you want. And you usually see very heavily muscled uh, men or women doing that. And it's a process and a procedure. I'm not exactly sure if it burns, et, et cetera. Uh, but I'm using it just basically in more of an endurance fashion. Uh, currently, this, there's snow in this area, but it, there probably won't be when you see this. But uh, it'll be here for another two or three days if you're an early viewer. And, um, and this allows me to get some exercise. I'm, I'm, I, I've been doing 20, 10, on rare occasion, 20 on most occasions, and occasionally 30 to 40,000 steps uh, a day in exercising, walking to convenience stores, walking to, there's a Walmart that's about exactly 10,000 steps away. I have made three trips of that in a day to generate the 30,000 uh, uh, steps, and then added another 10,000 walking in my neighborhood. But uh, basically, uh, so I'm using it as endurance, and I, I've, I've got to now where I can push it for an hour plus. I've, I usually stop at an hour, and not because I'm exhausted, but most of the time, I'm bored. Not because this is boring, it's just because any, doing anything for an hour straight through is boring. What I'm planning to do in the near future is to use this and start up a movie. I don't know, maybe one of the old Marvel or DC movies, and because uh, I'm a, I'm a nerd, and uh, you know, here we have the time, and this is usually how I focus. I also look at watts as energy, uh, to some degree. I never really pay attention to the calorie thing because I don't think that's accurate at all. Uh, and so basically, this is speed and uh, and distance. So usually I'm focused on the time. I try to do, like I said, I've been doing an hour. I don't think I've ever been on here for less than an hour. Unless I, I got a call or something I don't call and had to grab a phone. But uh, using this Varnado fan, which is currently on, basically that allows me to sit here and not sweat profusely. So no matter how cool it is in here, that it, this is an exertion and I do end up sweaty at the end. I tried another seat, but this seat is the best. It's third seat, it's just big and wide and basically built for this. I mean, I have a big and wide butt. So uh, it's, it's just, you know, I probably would fail to see anything wrong with any of the other Aerodyne bikes. I've had a Schwinn bike of this type before, but it was like a decade and a half or more ago and it was chain driven, the old school one. And you actually got a breeze off of the, of the fan. So, uh, and, and it was like a huge wheel. So I would use that. I probably wouldn't have needed that with this. But, but this one, I don't get a real breeze off of that, that I can note. 
So I just want to give you a quick look at this thing. It's like I said, it's it's very good, and like I'm using it for endurance. So I did three hours yesterday. Now that's in one hour increments. I'm going to eventually do two hours straight on here, just as a as a fitness check, but it's not required. Uh, I might not do that today. But I just want to give you a quick run. This is the Aerodyne AD6. There's a, there's a, there are several higher ones, two or three higher ones and one or two lower ones. This one costs in the 550 range. The others, uh, I think, go down to 300 or in the 300 or 300 range and then up to 1,000 plus. Now, if I'm doing a thousand plus, uh, you're gonna have one. That you're probably not gonna need to uh, break down and build and change locations with it often. Uh, but since th I, I just bought the largest one I could do, the most stable one. I'm not sure if the other, the smaller ones are unstable, so I'm not criticizing them. But I bought this one just for one reason: is it's big enough to deconstruct, though it's going to be heck to get it out of here. But and get it out and the larger ones are are heavier and this one is heavy enough 150 160 i think was the uh, was the weight on the package i may be wrong in there give or take 10 or 20 pounds but it was not easy in fact i had to get like i say a four-wheeler and a two-wheeler a two-wheeler four-wheeler to get it up here and then i built it myself and it just it was it was basically a half hour to an hour or less so i just want to give you a quick a quick review of this since i've been showing it so often and this is what i'm using to stay in shape when i can't walk and i also use it when i do walk but it gives me an alternative so if i can't walk during the day i can just jam an hour or two on this and takes care of my problems so this is the ad6 so i'm not particularly saying you should get this one but i, I don't think there's a lot of difference between the sizes but probably larger ones are more stable or whatever, though I have I don't know how I can improve on this one. I want to give you a quick review of this since I've been using it so often and talking about it so often. I haven't given a great view of it before, so I thought I would do it now. You guys have a uh, wonderful day. And uh, get out and get some exercise. Hopefully it's not snowing where you are, and hopefully it's not snowing where I am when you see this. I will talk to you later.